So here we come with a long awaited video, or at least long awaited for me. So <laughs> it has definitely been a long time and yeah, it's been a long time. So a lot of changes have happened. I am part of the growing concern of the comic book industry because I have also made the switch from American comics to Japanese manga, but I don't regret it because like everyone else, I just want a good story. I want a good series. I don't want to be preached at. And so I'm finding things that are entertaining and allows me to feel like I can relax and just enjoy something. So that is probably going to be the biggest change to my channel. It's not going to be it's not going to be American comics related anymore unless there's sort of like something that just kind of draws me back in. Right now that hasn't happened because I will freely admit I still have not gotten over Superman being taken over by what's his name I, at this point I, I i can't even think of his name and i don't even care if he's still writing him not writing him anymore the damage has been done and i i just can't do it and it makes me sad because you know i'm not doing my shopping at the comic book stores anymore and there was a lot of fun and joy of just being able to go into the store and you know, I, I can't, I don't have an interest. <laughs> I don't have the interest anymore. So it is what it is. So now we can get on to the actual video. So here is what I am doing currently. So what I'm doing currently is I'm reading a few series at the same time, mainly because I find it interesting and, you know, <laughs> there are some series that are extremely long. So, you know, I, I don't want to just focus on one thing, especially if I'm going to bring it here on YouTube and, you know, talk about things that I find interest in. So right now I just seem to have an interest in sports manga, which it's not unusual because, you know, I played sports growing up. I love watching sports. So the idea of reading about sports is just par for the course for me. And so, yeah, that is what I'm doing currently. And so these are the series that I'm reading. And keep in mind, too, that they are going to like each series is going to end up getting its own video of uh, a video review once I get to a good place of each of them where I feel comfortable being able to do that. Right now, I'm kind of brand new with some of the series and it is going to take some time because right now I'm reading everything in Japanese. So that is going to be, <laughs> it, it's going to take a little bit of extra time. So Let's get to it. So the first series I'm reading right now is Days. Now, this is a soccer manga and I got I got interested in it. I got interested in this because of watching the anime. So, you know, as what happens a lot of times with some of these series is the place where it ends up stopping kind of uh leaves you in a lurch and so you want to know what's going on what's going to happen and so the best way to do that is to just read the manga which is what I'm doing so I'm going back through the series of reading days so that is the first thing that I'm reading and right now I have one through 24 and then I have a random 42 because I just wanted to get the uh, special edition. So, you know, it's going to it's one of those. It's going to take a while. Next is Blue Lock. So Blue Lock is another 
soccer manga and it is vastly different from days and so I would really be interested in doing a comparison of the two of them because they have like they, they approach the game of soccer from a very different goal and so you know I find that really fascinating now this one I did not get from a anime this one is a uh, a newer series in Japan and I I think in looking it up I think it is approved for yeah I think it's approved for English translation so I do think that it will be coming to uh, the US at some point but I don't know how long that's going to take I don't you know I don't know anything like that because as I said right now I'm reading it in Japanese so I have 1 through 14 so that is me completely caught up on owning the series even though I am on book five but it is one of those that right now I do find it a little bit interesting and you know I'll I'll talk more about it when I finally get to the review, but it's, it's like I said, it is a very different approach from what Days is trying to accomplish. And so just for that fascinating difference, I'm also reading this. Next is Ace of Diamond, and this is the Act 2. Now, I completely skipped over Act 1 because that is 47 books and I watched the anime of that so I'm kind of content of where that is now I may decide later on that I want to collect one through 47 I don't know yet (laughs) you know like I I just want to do act two because you know it's the same thing with days where it's left in the anime I'm curious about you know the future. So I'm, 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 I'm really curious about what's going to go on further. So yeah, that is why I am doing this particular series. And so as you can see, I am currently on volume four of it. And yes, Ace of Diamond, of course, it's a baseball series, which baseball is probably, is probably one of my favorite sports. I, I really like I really love going to baseball games and watching baseball games. So, yeah, for me, it, it's really kind of it, it's kind of nostalgic in a way as well. So, yeah, this this one I'm kind of excited about. Now, also what I'm reading is Yoamushi Petal. Now, this one is extremely long and it's going to take me an extremely long time because, as you can see, I am beginning volume 10, but there are currently 73 volumes in this series and it is not remotely finished. And I have all 73 of them, so I should not miss anything as I go through the series. But yeah, it's going to take a very long time, especially as I'm reading them in Japanese, as I said. But I do believe that Yoamushi Petal is translated into English. I just don't know where they are in the series. I know Days is also published in English. So a little bit about that, you know, part of why I want to do, because I could have, I could have read the English series of Days and I did on Amazon with the Amazon Unlimited. They just had a, a deal. So for three months, I think I paid only like 99 cent for three months or something like that. And um, so I read the first seven issues of of days on Amazon. The problem that I had with it is that you can only get days digitally. So it only comes in ebook form. And so it coming on ebook form, like paying the prices that they want you to pay. So that's like between 10 to 12 bucks per per book yeah I just I I can't and you know right now they are at I think volume 22 like 21 or 22 I don't think they've gotten to 23 yet 
But yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to pay that kind of money and not have a physical book. And so, you know, the companies nowadays, and I get it, you know, you're trying to save money. So they're all now kind of switching to just digital formatting in the translations. So if you want to read days, it's going to be like your best bet is going to be to find it somewhere online because that is your only option if you're going to read it in English. So days I know is translated into English. Uh, Your Mushi Petal is translated into English. I'm not sure about Ace of Diamond, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's an easy look up. So yeah, Your Mushi Petal, I got it from the anime, of course. <laughs> it's one of it's it's one of my favorite series. I really love the main character Onida. And so, yeah, I, of course, have to read the whole series because I wanted to see what happened in his second year. And then I want to see beyond. Now, this is uh, this was kind of a newer series from spring 2021 of uh, anime. So I'm assuming that the anime was kind of to sell the manga I'm not sure I'm all I know is that there is just one volume out and so this is backflip I really enjoyed watching I really enjoyed watching the anime and it's basically uh rhythmic gymnastics just men's rhythmic rhythmic gymnastics and uh yeah I mean I haven't I haven't started this one there's only one volume so I think by the time I get to it, you know, we'll see how much I like it and what will happen. It's, you know, it is what it is. I like it. So I'm going to read it. Now, this one is probably one of uh, like this one's going to take me some time because this is not like the others. The others are shonen, so they are, I wouldn't say easier Japanese language, but it's more the kanji is easier to read because you get the furigana. So what happens with the furigana is, you know, you have the, uh, you have the kanji here and then you have like the breakdown reading of, you know, what that kanji is. And so this is a saying, I think saying, but essentially it's an older, <laughs> it's for an older age. Therefore, it doesn't have the same kind of breakdown as the shonen kind of material has. So it's going to take me a little bit of time because I'm going to have to look up some of the kanji and everything like that. But I'm really excited about this series because it is a rugby series and I you know I, I I like the physical brutal sports more than anything else as much as I love baseball I love like the physical brutality of sports like rugby and American football so I'm really interested in this one it is a uh, of course this also I got from watching the anime series and, you know, being left in a lurch and just kind of wanting to see what comes after. I I do think it's still an ongoing series. I haven't uh, I haven't necessarily looked it up. I do know there is currently 17 volumes and I have all 17 of them. So you know, I guess we'll see, like, I'll, by the time I get to uh, finishing this series, I'm sure I'll have a better idea. And, you know, as I do a little bit more research for its actual video, we'll be able to get to understanding more of what is going to happen with this. So, yeah, um, all, oh, all Out too, and I should say that, All Out also does have a... Uh, English translation 
like um, days. It's only digitally, so you can find it. I read the first two, which is why, you know, I'm now currently on number three. So I read the first two again on Amazon with Amazon Unlimited because they had that availability, but I did not want to spend the kind of money that they were asking for for this series because it's sort of like I I don't like that they're asking for physical copy prices for digital like I, I've, I've never liked that idea so yeah for me I have to have a physical book you know but if you don't if you don't speak Japanese if you're not studying the language then of course I would you know if I wasn't <laughs> if I wasn't doing it then obviously I would not have had a choice and then I just would have taken what I could have gotten. So I do acknowledge that because I do actually think from reading the first two and from watching the series, I do think it's going to be quite interesting. And so, yeah, that is kind of, uh, that's kind of it for this, for this video. I, can hear some noise. I can hear a noisemaker in the background. So I have to cut this off. But yeah, so this is what I'm reading currently right now. And so as I get through to uh, as I get through, as I get through them, I'm going to do some video series on them, some reviews and talk a little bit more about them. And in the meantime, while that happens, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, share it, do all that stuff, bell notifications, whatever, you know, all the, the usual stuff that YouTubers ask about to try to grow their channel. So yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.